know, hopefully that's enough. We are definitely getting close to, to finishing off the mouth. The 300 damage is enough for the victory. Down goes Lavos' spawn. And for that battle, we get 747 experience, 120 tech points, and 500 gold and an elixir. Nice. There's a lot of tech points, and nobody, still nobody learned anything. And if we go over here, we can get ourselves a Giga Arm, which I'm sure is an upgrade for Bloon, because it's an arm. Nobody else can equip arms. Get it? Puns. I hate them. Alright, so uh, attack up by 8 from what it was before. Bloom is still definitely the slowest. Definitely the slowest. Okay, so let us move on here. And we've made it outside where it's all snowy. <laughs> but now we can go back inside and. Uh, okay, no. No lava spawn here. But in here we get the Brave Sword. Now that is an upgrade sword for Novin. Because, well, he's the only one that can use a sword, obviously. Uh, attack up by 9, so even though it's not going to have any of the uh, magic plus 4s or 2 times hit from magic enemies, it's a attack up by by 9, so I'm willing to, to, to use that for now. Notice that the Master Moon is still here. Cannot sell it. Cannot really use it either, because it's not doing that well for us. Damn it, crackers! From here, we need to head. Well, okay, I can't go that way. I thought I could, but I cannot. So let's head south. The only way we can go. And, oh, here's the shiny. Let's go ahead and grab... That just opened up a door for us. How dare you. Is there anything else down here? Is there anything at all? You know, when you try to go up, it slows down just a little bit. I don't understand. Uh, but we need to pretty much go back around. And now I see the path that we need to take. But first, we have to take on Macabras. But we need to continue going back around. You know, there's a little point when like the, the wind kicks up and you slow down a little bit. Don't understand it. Alright, we need to head back the way that we came. Back out to... Uh, is there something up there? No, just the little tree. And I am actually going to use uh, the save point yet again. Now we are ready to head up into the cave. And here we go up the narrow path, and of course there's a cracker in our way. Damn you. You make me so I can't whistle. And over here we can grab ourselves a star scythe, which is going to be an upgrade for Luke. Because, well, we haven't gotten... He's, well, yet we haven't gotten one in a while, and yeah, he uses size. Big surprise. Up by eight. Is he our strongest attacker now? No, he's still a little bit behind Jojo and Bloom. Uh, but they are also a higher level than him. He might catch up. He might. I doubt it, though. I doubt. I don't think they uh, they get that much um, in terms of what they get for for a level up. They don't get that much bonus to their stats. Really? If take this on again, even though it's a mini boss, we've seen it. It's not that exciting of a fight. I'm gonna cut these out from now on. With him out of the way, a lot actually a lot easier than the last one because he didn't even put. Novin to sleep this time. What's up, dude? Be careful, it's slippery. Fall and you'll have to start over. Really? I fell. Okay, so uh, this one's going to be a little tough. Really? All the way here? Just meet you back up there. Well, just on uh, fighting that one cracker on the way up here, uh, I was able to learn the next tech, which, if you remember, was for Luke. He learned Dark Bomb. Damage enemies with Dark Bomb. Thank you for your very well thought out explanation. We're on our way to learning Magic Wall. It actually, I think, is going to be the next one that is learned. Yep. Luke's going to get two in a row because he's behind. He hasn't been in the party forever. He still doesn't have any dual techs. He's apparently better than the rest of everybody. He's like, I don't want to do anything with you guys. All right, let's try this again. Let's, let's go a little bit easier there. Nah, I'll get this. I'll get this. Surely I can handle it this time. Surely, even though the, the, the hit detection is a little off. There we go. Third time is a charm. Hard to understand what they want me to do there for a second. Is this just a continuous stream? And damn it, I got five of them. 
Well, I ended up having to take on seven of them to get on the other side after that battle got another battle with two of them, but in there we're able to find the Vedic Blade, which I'm sure is another upgrade for Novin, which is coming uh, very quickly, I must admit. Uh, no. Huh. A sword that's not for Novin. Who else can use a sword here? Doesn't look like anybody else can use a sword. I wonder what that means hide things very well in this game. So let's just head down here and easily avoid all the all the crackers on the on the way down and we've ended up isn't this where we were before? No, it looks a little bit different. It looks a little bit different. And here we find the third one. What's up, dude? Push the shell, climb the shell. What? What shell? Can I go over? I can't go over that way. Fine. I'll just keep going this way then. And we've found another Lavos spawn. Super! And it's another mini boss time, but once again, same fight, not even that difficult. So we have taken out the Lavos spawn, and we can push his shell around <laughs> because his shell stayed. But first, there is something that I missed this way, and I hate missing anything, but there is definitely something that I missed. Now, where is it? Is it... This is gonna bug me. Oh, oh, there we go. That That is actually the treasure chest that we saw a while ago. And in there we can get the Dark Helm. The Dark Helm. I don't know if it turns you into a Sith, but it should. Uh, you actually have lower defense. Is this better? It is better. Cut Shadow hits by 50%. That is not for you. That is for you. You already have Shadow. Up by two. It's not going to help that much. Um, but he's already Shadow class, so he doesn't need more help against Shadow. That is not his weakness. Uh, so there's also a save point here. I will actually... No, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. The, the Lava spawn fights aren't nearly as tough as they kind of make it out to be. We need to push it this way. That looks so weird when Novin's doing it. How come I can't push it up? Do I have to be, uh, have to be over by where the mouth is? Alright, now... Climb! There we go, you have to press the button to climb. Oh, come on, it was close enough. There we go. And we've made our way up! To... Okay, the snow stopped and we've made it to the top of the peak! So, this is the summit of Death Peak! Yes, it is. You who fear the night and fight the coming of darkness, give us strength. Thash! The pendant's reacting! We need the dependent for this. Go, egg! It, it, it shattered! It can't be! What use was it to come so far? Despair not. Fate be not malleable. Vash! Say something! Don't ignore us! Uh oh. The sun's being blotted out. That... that can't be good. That can't be good at all. And the world was struck by sudden darkness. And we've traveled back in time! Like stone statues, tis eerie. Chrono Trigger, the Guru's Time Egg. And there we all are, we're back at that instant. Time freeze. I never thought it possible. What's up? Nothing? Nothing? Hmm. You? What a pity. <laughs> we weren't able to change a thing. We'll just exchange the clone for Vash. Go, clone! Take the real one with us. We've got to hurry. Why? Everything's frozen. Tis an eerie place. Let us withdraw quickly. 
Save the hellos for later. We've got work to do. Where are you, where are you going? Hmm. Luke is not happy about what's going on here, obviously. So I kind of liked it when Vash was dead. Luke's never been a fan of Vash, obviously. What the hell? Why is it like a Christmas tree? Why are all the trees like Christmas trees around here? I'm whatever. It's always Christmas in Chrono Trigger. How you doing, Vash? You doing okay? I need you, Vash. I got an upgrade for you. Vash, it's about time. Time, huh? <laughs> How art thou feeling, Vash? Integrated? Why do you ask? Y you could say something. Yeah, he doesn't say anything. Silent protagonist, Vash. You dummy. You wouldn't believe what we had to go through for you. We had to do a whole bunch of side questing. You mess up again, and we won't save you. That's a lie. I'll always save you, Vash. I'll make everybody do it. I'm in control here. Oh, but it's sweet. While you were gone, we had a terrible time. Limea had to... And so then we... And I had to... Hey, you listening, Vash? You can be so irritating sometimes. What are you talking about? Vash is like the perfect listener. He never talks. And we're back at the end of time. And I'm still in control of. No. What's up? So, looks like you were successful. No, don't thank me. I didn't do a thing. I just gave you a place to begin. If you really want to thank me, make me a member of your team. By the way, the wings of time has come looking for you. It seemed to have a heart and mind of its own. You wish to fight Lavos, correct? Many paths lay open to you. You may use that bucket. Or fly the wings of time to the day of Lavos. Or there's the Black Omen, which floats in the sky above your world. Lavos is somehow connected with it. It's up to you to decide when and where to fight Lavos. By now you must realize you are the only ones who stand a chance against him. How will you not be alone? I have had vague glimpses of events, people and places that will empower you. In the Middle Ages, a woman's sheer determination brings a forest back to life. A fugitive in the Middle Ages, Ozzy maintains an evil hideout. There's a test to be done in the future where machinery originated. And there's a very special stone that can shine its light on each generation from the distant past to the far future. There's the ghost of a lofty knight slain by Luke in the Middle Ages who haunts the present. There's an object in the Middle Ages that sparkles like a rainbow. One of you is close to someone who needs help. Find this person, fast. Just as you touch the lives of every life form you meet, so too will their energy strengthen you. They'll live up to your potential and you will never learn. I'm sorry that I must simply witness the coming spectacle from my vantage point here. So he's pretty much given us a list of side quests. That is kind of a nice thing for him to do. Just like, here's the things that you could do. Will you take that? Yes. Yes, I will. He's very psyched about this. And we will take Fash with us next time. That's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I've been Balasco. I've been joined, as always, by my now complete party of everyone. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.